Ladies, gents, boys and girls, my name is Aram. Welcome back to the Aram Training Channel, the competitive rowing channel. Today's video is about answering a question I got on rowing.zone. A guy sent me a message that he had sciatic nerve pain when he holds his knees down and tries to go forward into the early stages of the recovery. So the way you should be doing this is hold your knees, not extra hard, but quite firmly down. So when you rock over, you, your hip joints are fixed. You can, actually, you can actually rotate your pelvis past your hip joint. It doesn't mean your seat should tilt, but you certainly want to get in front of it. And the question related to, well, if there's sciatic nerve pain, what should he do? The problem is that it's, it's an essential part of a recovery. The solution is simple. You have to cheat, but you have to do it in such a way that you don't hurt boat speed, nor do you hurt your body recovery effectiveness. The way you do it is the following way. You have to go in low steady state, have a pause, then slowly go forward. And the moment you feel that it's uncomfortable, just before it starts to feel uncomfortable, I would bend my knees, that reduces the tension in your hamstrings. And now I would not try to go forward, I would try to go up. I think going up is more important than going forward. So here, hands out, try to go up, not forward. That's a, it's a tiny difference. If you try to rotate your pelvis forward, you create quite a bit of tension here. But if you try to just pull up, so let's say that somebody pulled you up here, oh, and use your glutes and deep muscles to do that, oh, then you have a much better stability. So hands out, rotate up, and let's say you, you can't hold your knees down at all. How should you solve that issue now? Well, bend early, and now try to push you back into a hollow back position and try to rotate the pelvis up and try to ro lift yourself off the seat as much as possible. Don't be stiff in your shoulders. That's the one trap you could easily fall for because a lot of people who lack mobility down here try to do this. And then they stiffen up the top part of the shoulders and your delts are too active and then there's almost no control in the low back anymore. That's something you need to change. So I recommend you do the following thing. Bend your knees early if necessary. Keep your wrists and elbows deliberately loose and then go up as much as you can and by half slide have your upper body angle completed. And from half slide to full slide, really just make sure you remain in that posture where you rotate yourself off the seat and you go into the kitchen, out of the kitchen. That must be the passive phase where you move the boat alone. And from half slide, so from half slide to finish, finish to, and from finish to half slide, you post correct until half slide as much as possible. It is possible. You just need more focus. You really need to be very, very active in, in, in your thinking and also in your focus points. Because it's very easy to say, well, just hold your knees down. Knees down, rotate up, and now start to slide, post correct. You just need to do more post correction. Up, 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 loose, 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 pop, and here we go. And other than that, uh, stretch your nerves. That's the best thing that you can do, and I recommend you do lots of it. Stretching your nerves is something different than stretching your muscles. So I really recommend you talk to a good physiotherapist and they will help you how to solve that. This and other very important topic is something I usually cover as part of the Saturday Live Zoom sessions. The way it works is you put a phone with Zoom installed next to you, right, right next to you, right there where the other body rower is right now. Um, use a headset and we just have a 45 minute session. And I give you live feedback and there's, it's not just plain rowing, it's always a specific technique focus. Sometimes, for example, we focus on how to activate the shoulders. How do you activate the lats? How do you activate um, the pelvis the right way? Always with the idea to be as relaxed as possible. How do you transfer your technique into higher stroke rates? This is, for example, what we did last week. And we're going to do this in two days again, the upcoming Saturday. It's Thursday now that I'm recording that. So the idea is that you become more proficient with just a 45 minute focused session every week. 
and then you go in the water during the week or do your own training and try to improve upon the things that we did. With this being said, I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or suggestions for video, please contact me on rowing.zone. My handle is at Aram and this is where you'll reach me best. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn first when I upload the next video, it's probably best to subscribe and hit the notification bell.